I'm Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas. From the day I opened the first Wendy's, my goal has been to serve the best hamburger in the business, a Wendy's old-fashioned hamburger. So I started with the freshest beef I could find, 100% pure beef, never frozen. And we patted it in squares so the hamburger hangs over the side of the bun. Then we cooked the patty slowly to seal in its natural juices and served it hot off the grill with the customer's choice of toppings. No other hamburger chain can make those claims. That's what sets us apart from our competition, and that's why our customers come to Wendy's. I believe the only way to make a Wendy's old-fashioned hamburger is to press the meat patty. Pressing the meat patty is really important, and here's why. The patty tastes better because the salt is pressed into the meat and makes the meat more tender. It also makes the patty larger, so they'll hang over the edge of the bun, and people will like that. Pressing the hamburger patty requires skill and dedication. You have to watch over the patties constantly as they cook. You should always serve a perfect Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburger, the one that you would serve to your best friend. You have one of the most important jobs at Wendy's. Right now, I want you to devote your full attention to learning the new four-corner press procedures for cooking Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers. And while you're doing that, I am going to have a hot and juicy hamburger with mustard, pickle, and onion. Hey, Greg, what's up? Not much. Mary's up front. She wants to see you. All right. Hi, Bill. Hey. Make sure you stir it every 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, Mary, what's up? I'm going to pull you off fries today because I want you to learn grill. Have you clocked in? Yeah. Let's get started. familiar with the grill but let me show you a few things you might not already know the meat is here in the cold well and the cheese is over here bun warmer up above keeps the buns warm and fresh remember we serve 100 percent pure ground beef it's patted into squares so that the meat hangs over the bun now the tape i'm going to show you here's a crew guide and the grill training tape why don't you have a look at the tape first and i'll check back with you in a few minutes all right That's ready to go. A towel to keep your station looking cool. But most of all, you got to have your tool. Are you with me now? Get ready. We're gonna lay them down. Now, beats got grain to it just like wood. You got to follow the arrow to lay it down like you should. From the front to the back, you got to lay it down. Space it evenly, not scattered around. Next, you got to salt the meat from the back to the front to make the taste complete. Not too little, not too much. With a little finesse, you'll get the touch. What's coming up next is our key to success. We'll turn the meat and do a four corner press. Don't wait too long, I emphasize, or the meat won't reach the proper size. When things start to sizzle, you're ready to go. Gently turn the meat, but don't be slow. Just turn them over easily. We don't want a broken patty, that's a guarantee. Press out the corners, one, two, three, four. Rock it a bit, are you keeping score? Top and bottom, left and right, and you'll get a patty that's out of sight. Press out the corners, nice and wide, at least half an inch on both sides. 
The reason you press, you gotta think When the meat hits the grill, it starts to shrink We start shrinking When we hit that grill, you know it will We start shrinking When we hit that grill, you know it will Ow! When you see red juices on the top of the meat, it's time to give the turn and press a repeat. Do it again just like you did before. Do the four corner press just one time more. Now once you press this the second time, don't press them again because the meat's just fine. But when you see red juices rise, turn the patty over to the other side. Don't scrape the grill, we want it wet, you see. And keep the meat moist so it's hot and juicy. When the meat's red juices no longer rise, you can serve that patty, it'll win a prize. It takes about four minutes to cook, but just to make sure you can have a look. Use your tool and double check, it should be great and moist to be correct. And order this place, you're ready to go. Drain the meat, just like so. Once the draining is totally done, place the patty squarely on the hill of that bun. Now there you go, Billy, you give it a shot. Don't be afraid, I think you're gonna be hot. Where do I start? What do I do? Just remember the rat, Billy, and you'll be cool. Well, meat's got grain to it. Just like wood. Follow the arrows. Just lay it down like you should. From front to back, lay it down. Space it evenly, not scattered all around. Next, I've got to salt the meat. From the back to the front, it makes the taste complete. Not too little. Not too much. With the little finesse, I think I'm getting the touch. Hey. When things start to sizzle, you're ready to go. Gently turn the meat, but don't be slow. Just turn them over easily. We don't want a broken patty. That's a guarantee. Uh, press them now, right? Top and bottom, left and right. Press out the corners nice and wide, about half an inch on every side. Try choking up a bit on the spatula. Okay, what's next? Let me see. I've salted, turned, pressed. Oh yeah. When you see red juices on the top of the meat, it's time to give them a turn, then press a repeat. Do it again, just like you did it before. Do the four corner press just one time more. Once you've pressed it the second time, don't press it again, cause the meat's just fine. But when you see those juices rise, you can turn that patty to the other side. Don't scrape the grill, we want it wet, you see. It keeps the meat moist so it's hot and juicy. And when those red juices no longer rise, you can serve that patty, it'll win a prize. It takes just about four minutes to cook. But just to make sure you can take a look, use your tool to double check. It should be great and moist to be correct. Hey! When an order's placed, you're ready to go. Just drain the meat, just like so. Then when all the draining's done, you can place a patty squarely on the heel of the bun. All right, Billy, that's good. You're getting it down just like I knew you would. But just to be sure, there's still some more. A customer orders a single with cheese. Here's the way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. Tool it up, lay it off on the meat, do it right, keep it neat. Drain, then serve on a bun, just so. Don't touch it with your fingers, that's a big no-no. To make a double cheese for someone big and mean, use two or four patties with the cheese in between. Don't melt the cheese, the patties have heat. Press them together and it's complete. Drain and serve like you did before, and you can handle any dude who walks through the door. If they don't want cheese in your doubles plain, don't press them together. Just drain. Only serve a great looking patty. Never serve a burger that's looking ratty. But if something goes wrong and your burger's not right, there's no need to get up tight. If the dry burger broken or incomplete, that baby turns into chili meat. Don't serve that meat, you see, cause quality is our recipe. Put those patties in a chili pan and save them for all of our chili fans. But if they have cheese, then throw them away or it'll ruin our chili, our experts say. Always try to anticipate, think ahead, 
or you will be too late. Whether busy or slow, one thing remains the same. Keep your meat in the stages, that's the name of the game. No less than four, no more than five. Stage of meat's important and that's no jack. Now your patties are hot and ready to go. Right in time with customer flow. Stage one, I'm raw, you just laid me down. I'm stage two and I'm getting brown. You turn me and press me just one time, but there's two more stages before I'm fine. I'm stage three, you press me twice, just one more stage before I'm nice. Stage four, I'm hot, I should be done, looking good like I should so you can serve me, son. I'm stage five and I'm still alive, but serve me soon and don't be slow. I've only got one minute to go. The projection game is simple, you see, it's just common sense, that's the way it ought to be, when you know a lot of people will be coming around, don't hesitate, start laying them down, when things slack off, do the same, or you'll be wasting meat, and that would be a shame, just one last thing I've got to say, it has to do with the Wendy's way. Always serve top quality, nothing less than the best, that's a guarantee. Remember this rap and you'll be hot, give the grill your very best shot, and soon you develop some real, real skill, you'll be tough on the grill, yes you will, Mr. Bill. Bill, 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 the tape is over. Do you have any questions? No, no, I, uh, I think I've got it all. Good. Then let's go up to the front line. And I'll get you started. Thank you. You know, it's an old-fashioned hamburger, just like this one, that keeps our customers coming back to Wendy's. But cooking and pressing our hamburgers isn't easy. It requires a special talent, which takes some practice to develop. Every hamburger you serve our customers should be the best in the business. I won't get burned in the rush Because I don't give up When you're feeling the heat I got just what you need I've got real skill It takes nerves to steal When you got orders to fill You need the one with the real skill I'm doing it right It's always good to perfection Gotta keep the team tight I've got grill skill It takes nerves to steal When you've got orders to fill Look to the one with the grill skill I've got you covered When they're lined out the door When you get hit real hard I said bring on some more I've got real skill It takes nerves to steal When you've got orders to fill Take 